Grocery shopping for the Kaibab. Hunt starts tomorrow. We leave today. Look at all that non-backpack food. Good morning, guys. All right, here we go. It is the start of Arizona's archery season, 2017. We are on the Kaibab. We've got a friend here, Frank. He's the lucky one with the bow and uh, the tag this year. And uh, we've been glassing since the sun was coming up and we've got a pretty good group of bucks out here. One really, really nice four point that uh, we're gonna put a stock on, see if we can make something happen. Fingers crossed, Frank can shoot, so <laughs> we're money. No worries, so let's, uh, let's sneak. We're gonna sneak down in this hole and we'll keep you posted, see you in a bit. So we're back to camp. We're getting some breakfast going here. Get some bacon and uh, get some bacon and eggs and some toast. But figured I'd show you guys how camp's kind of set up. Got the alacnac. Kitchen over there. Here, target over there for shooting. Campfire set up. Frank's buddy, his camp. Nice, pretty spot here on the Kayabab. Seen a lot of deer. We put that stock on a nice well, 180 class, typical yesterday morning. Last night, seen a bunch more good bucks, and uh, this morning was a little slow. But there's a lot more people out today, so it'll die off after tomorrow. Everybody will go home, go to work, and we'll just keep hammering it. Do a little shooting today, do a little bit better job recording too. <laughs> Bacon. Middle of the day fun here. We're walking around finding cow pies and old wood and chipmunks to shoot. How far away? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Zach, what do you got? 82? 84. I got 82. 3. 83. 83. 83. Okay, okay. Josh, 83. come on. We're gonna dial that up to. There we go. We're gonna try to hit a tree. Alright. Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. My, my judo point flies straight up. tree stand. Hopefully tomorrow morning everything works out good and they, they feed right through here. Right underneath them and I'll be sitting across the canyon over on the other hillside watching. Fingers crossed. So I'm letting these boys handle it. I'm more of a ground blind kind of guy. But this is a spot I think uh, we'll be able to do this with quite a bit more in the future too. 
just need to get a, a couple tree stands. All right, what's up, guys? Good morning. We uh, it's the morning after setting that tree stand, and uh, we got Frank in it. He's been in it for about an hour and a half now, waiting for the sun to come up. We're set up here across from him, and we're just gonna glass and watch and uh, hopefully watch it all go down. So it's about six o'clock right now. Sun's horizon starting to light up. It shouldn't be long. So. All right, guys, so we got Frank in the tree stand again this morning. And uh, we're out here. We're out here. Sorry, I got Jabe, actually. If you just come up behind Jabe, another guy we got that guides with us. But we got Frank in the tree stand this morning. Let's look at Jabe real quick. So anyways, we got... We're out scouting, glassing some canyon, see if we can find something to maybe put an afternoon stock on while he's sitting in the tree. Hopefully he kills something in the tree. But uh, anyways, so we're out just glassing, checking some spots this morning and run into Tyne just now and his client and she shot something. So we're gonna drive down here real quick and see what she poked. And hopefully be able to get back up on this ridge and turn something up. I just found out there's some guys pushing the bottom. So if uh, if they're going straight up the middle, we should see some stuff come out the sides. Uh, there it is. Bugger. She made a killer shot. Awesome. Just drilled him. Nice job. Congrats. Thank you. Ty laying him down. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? So it's uh day seven. We're winding down. Tomorrow's tomorrow morning's his last day. And we're late morning right now. We've been to a few spots and sat he sat his stand. No luck, we got quite a bit of rain last night. But what we got here, we're gonna try something a little unorthodox. We're, uh, we're going for it on fourth. We got a bunch of aspen saplings down here in the bottoms. I'm gonna put Frank down here on the, uh, with the wind and I'm gonna go clear to the top over there and I'm just gonna push him nice and slowly and see if we can get something to funnel down in front of him. It's a long shot with a bow, but there's nothing else we can do. Everything's in that stuff right now. And you can't shoot in it. You can't hunt it. So our best bet is to try to get them out of it. So here we go. What's up, guys? So here we go. Last evening of the, the hunt out here on the Kaibab. I'm going to go hit a new spot and uh, a little lower, see if the deer are moving. We've noticed everything's rubbing. So we're going to go check some stuff out and see what we can come up with. It's tonight and tomorrow morning and then we are done on the Kayabab. I'll go home for one day and then turn around and head down and do some OTC stuff in Arizona for seven days and then come back and I will have five days left of my tag to get her done. So, lots of pressure. But, tis the season. Got a guide to make money so I can go hunting. So, do what we got to do. All right, guys, we are done on the Kayabab. After eight days straight of hunting hard, um, he just we couldn't get it done. We had some shots, we had some opportunities. They just didn't pan out. Um, saw a couple giants this morning, put a move on them. Same thing, just didn't pan out. It's archery hunting. Had a lot of fun, made, made some new friends. We'll definitely be hunting with those guys again. I promise you that. Hopefully in the near future. Maybe we'll be over in Cali next year hunting uh, pigs and blacktail. 
So, going home now. Um, it's about well, it's about one o'clock Friday afternoon. It's been uh, it's been a long eight days, nine days. I'll have the rest of today to clean up, put all my stuff away, repack, wash my clothes, and then I'll have tomorrow home with my wife and kids. And then early, early Sunday morning, I'm leaving again. Head down south, southern Arizona to do another deer hunt. And then when I get back, this is an eight day hunt, so 10 days total is what it's gonna entail. But uh, when I get back, I uh, will leave and finish out. Hopefully I'll get five days left on my archery tag on the Oak Ricks. So not ideal, but money is unfortunately needed to do what we're doing. And the way I make money right now this time of year is guiding. So I got to take everything I can get. <sighs> I hate having to worry about money. I wish I could just hunt. So it's tough. This time of year is tough. So here we go. We're going to go home, see the wife and kids, and then do it again. See you guys in a bit.